Hello and welcome in the IVP series powered by Camelot. Today, not a functional topic, only a user experience one. It's about managing variants in Fury. Let's see that by the example the right way. And to take a good example, let me go to the attribute model configuration uh, tile here in Fury uh, of IPP, just to explain the variant management in Fury. So here we see that as a typical uh, home screen, we have, we have given a list of items and then out of the list of items, we can click and do something like new, copy, edit, whatever other management. The, to the, the topic for today is not about what we can do here, but more like what can we do with variant? What is a variant in IBP and in any SAP Fury based application? This is about this topic, uh, this stuff here. You see, our, I am currently here in the standard variant, meaning that I've got criteria to filter my list below. And also my list below can be managed by some, uh, some personalization. Okay. So a variant is composed of the two elements which I can interact with. Say, for instance, I, I wish not to have the change by and the created by filters. So I go adapt filter and that can be part of the variant. And I say, I don't want to see that. Now my screen has been simplified with only three selection criteria here at the top. And also which, what I want, it's to have a predefined selection. Like I want anything which starts with Oh, for instance, uh, cost. Do I have anything with cost? Yes. These are the attributes, including the name cost. Okay. So I wish to have that selection part of my variant. And now also to finish, I'm not interested with the many, um, the many uh, columns of this display. I wish to review that. So I go to the cog here, the setting cog. And here I can sub-select or display or hide some of the elements. Like for instance, I want the, the ID, the name, the description, and the rest I don't want to see. And say for instance, I wish to see who has created that and which day. Now, this is the result, the final result, which I want to have as a variant. Easy, once it's done, you go here, standard, and you say, save as a new variant. You give a name to your variant, say for instance, DLEL, like my name, okay? And I can decide that this variant is my default, it is public, and it is applied automatically or not when I enter the next time this, this function. Let's keep it like that without any uh, particular setup. Now, if I exit and re-enter attribute, I am back here in the standard display, but now if I select DLEL, it goes straight away to my display. Just easy. And that was to share about variant management. Now, if I want to see this one as a default, I can go manage and say, by the way, this is my default. Save, go again outside, re-enter. Now it is automatically selected uh, when I enter this feature. Let me take a good example of this now into planning area management. Because in planning area management, when you go to the key figure, you know, in IBP, we have many key figures, it can be hundreds of them, like here, you are very often completely drawn with, uh, sunk with the, the, many, uh, the, the many key figures, and you wish to sort out that. For instance, I wish to have the hashtag displayed, and also not to see all the key figures, but only a few of them. You see here, I've got already an because of this drop-down, I've got also a, a variant on this particular display, which shows me only the SOP related key figure, and also with the hashtag being displayed because I use the, the hashtag to sort out my different key figures. It's a good other example of variant management. This is it. It was just to show you how to manage variants. And this that you have seen during the example can be applied to any of those typical screen with a list where you want to review the colony and also the filtering criteria. Enjoy it and see you next time.